The future of work isn't science fiction, it's math. McKinsey says automation could replace up to 800 million jobs by 2030. That's nearly one in five workers worldwide. But instead of guessing, we'll use three simple levers to map the future. Automation, how many jobs machines take. Productivity, how much more we produce per worker. And redistribution, or universal basic income, or UBI, how much income gets shared back to people. By turning these knobs, we will run three scenarios, base, optimistic, and stress, with differing values of those levers. After each, we'll summarize the effects on net jobs, wages, prices, work hours, and monthly UBI. You'll see how different policies and tech trends could lead to very different futures. And here's the twist. One of these scenarios may be closer than you think. Assumptions and foundations. Let's start by setting the stage with some basic assumptions. First, the workforce. In the US, we've got about 168 million workers today, and that will creep up to around 170 million by 2030. Globally, the labor force will be close to three and a half billion. Next, GDP growth. Historically, the US economy grows about 2% a year. So in our scenarios, the base case uses 2%, the optimistic case goes up to 3%, and the stress case drops to just 1%. Now, productivity, how much each worker can produce. In recent decades, productivity has grown by about 1.3 to 1.5% a year. But with AI and new technology, that could jump much higher. Economists at Goldman Sachs say AI might add anywhere from 0.3 to 3 percentage points. So here's how we'll frame it. Base case at 1.5% per year, optimistic at 3 to 4% and stress at just 1%. What about automation? McKinsey estimates that by 2030, up to 30% of work tasks could be automated, with 15% being the middle ground. So in our base case, we'll say 15 to 20% of tasks get automated. In the optimistic case, adoption is slower, less than 10%, with new tech creating offsetting jobs. And in the stress case, automation moves fast, hitting over 30% of jobs. Finally, let's talk UBI or universal basic income. To give every US adult $1,000 a month would cost about $3.1 trillion per year, which is around 10.6 percent of today's GDP. To put that in perspective, 5% of GDP equals roughly $500 per month. So, in our model, the base case uses 5% of GDP, the optimistic case drops to 3%, and the stress case jumps to 10%, reflecting a much bigger safety net. Scenario modeling. Now let's jump into the heart of this video, scenario modeling. Think of this as a dashboard of possible futures. After each scenario, we'll pause on the results for a quick reflection. A, base case, moderate automation, steady growth, partial UBI. In the base case, automation affects about 15% of jobs, mostly routine work in admin and retail. That means around 20 million jobs disappear, but about 15 million new ones are created in tech, healthcare, and green energy. The net, roughly 5 million fewer jobs overall. Wages inch up about 5% over the decade. Modest growth, but uneven. Low skill jobs might disappear, while others benefit more. Prices stay fairly stable, thanks to steady 2% GDP growth. But here's the kicker, universal basic income. Set at 5% of GDP, works out to about $500 a month per adult. Enough for a cushion, but not a game changer. Although daily life looks familiar, a 40 hour work week, modest income growth, and some pressure on routine jobs. Middle class families manage, but to be fair, it's gonna be tight. But does losing 5 million jobs and adding 500 UBI match what you expected? B, optimistic case, high productivity, slow automation, strong growth. Now imagine a brighter path where automation adoption is slower, hitting only five to 10% of jobs. That's about 10 million jobs lost, but a booming economy creates 25 million new ones, which means net gain comes up to plus 15 million jobs. With productivity surging at three to 4% per year, wages also jump around 15%. Employers compete for talent and even lower wage workers see real raises. Prices will be stable or even falling in some areas thanks to efficiency gains. UBI shrinks to about $300 a month per adult, but as wages are already strong, so households rely less on government transfers. In this world, work weeks shorten to around 35 hours. Families enjoy more savings, more leisure, and more career options in fields like tech, renewable energy, healthcare, and creative industries. Think about it. How does plus 15 million jobs and rising wages feel? C. Stress case. Rapid automation. Weak growth. Minimal redistribution. Finally, the tough road. Here, automation accelerates fast, affecting 30 to 40% of jobs, 
That's a loss of 40 million jobs, while only 10 million new ones appear. Net loss will be 30 million jobs. Wages will collapse by about 10%. Workers have little bargaining power, and many struggle to find stable employment. Prices are mixed. Essentials like housing and healthcare will rise, while tech products get cheaper. The result feels like inflation for everyday families, even if official numbers look moderate. UBI becomes massive, around $1,000 a month per adult, or 10% of GDP, just to prevent economic collapse. Daily life takes a bigger hit. Where a small elite thrives on AI-driven wealth, while most people rely on UBI and patchwork gig jobs. Traditional careers vanish unless you're in specialized tech or healthcare. Now pause for a moment. Can you imagine living in a world with 30 million fewer jobs and a 1,200 UBI? Let's do a cross-scenario comparison side by side and let the numbers tell the story. Net jobs, minus 5 million versus plus 15 million versus minus 30 million. UBI, $500 versus $300 versus $1,000 per adult. Wages, plus 5% versus plus 15% versus minus 10%. Typical week, 40 hours versus 35 hours versus patchwork gigs. Which one feels most realistic for your industry? Drop a comment base, optimistic, or stress. Now time for the treat. We are offering our subscribers a detailed PDF that will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You will also get free bonuses, tools, and tricks to educate and train you about AI and its future. So people of our community are not the AI victims. Translation to daily life. So what do these scenarios mean for you? In the base case, families stay afloat with slow wage growth and $600 universal base income. In the optimistic case, households thrive with higher wages, more savings, and shorter work weeks. But in the stress case, families depend on UBI just to survive, wages fall, and stable jobs are scarce. Career-wise, fields like AI, software, healthcare, renewable energy, and creative industries grow across all scenarios. But routine clerical, retail driving, and factory jobs shrink consistently. Policy trade-offs. Think of trade-offs like running a household budget. If you spend more money on food, you've got less for entertainment. If you save a lot, you might have less fun now, but more security later. Every choice comes with a cost. The economy works the same way. If automation moves too fast, companies save money, but millions lose jobs. Unless something like UBI steps in, people won't have money to spend and the economy slows. If productivity skyrockets, but redistribution is weak, the owners of capital get richer while regular workers fall behind. Growth happens, but inequality widens. If redistribution is strong, like a big UBI, families can keep spending even with fewer jobs. But the price is higher taxes or government debt, which can slow growth. And if redistribution goes too far, businesses may hold back on investing or innovating, which hurts everyone in the long run. The big challenge is finding balance, grow the economy, protect workers, and keep innovation alive without tipping too far in one direction. Conclusion, in the end, three levers shape our future, automation, productivity, and redistribution. In the base case, moderate automation means modest job losses and a mid-sized UBI. In the optimistic case, growth drives a jobs boom and higher wages with only a small UBI. In the stress case, rapid automation slashes jobs, wages fall, and a large UBI becomes essential. These aren't predictions, they're dashboards, tools you can update as real data comes in. The future won't treat every industry equally, some will soar, while others collapse. On the winning side, engineers, tech experts, doctors, and clean energy workers will see demand explode. These are the careers of tomorrow. But on the losing side, transportation, retail, and routine office jobs, warehouses run by robots, deliveries made by drones, checkout counters with no cashiers, millions of routine roles fade into history. Your career takeaway is to watch these levers closely. AI adoption, productivity trends, and UBI policy will decide whether your paycheck grows, stagnates, or shrinks. If you find this useful, hit subscribe and the bell. We'll update this AI economy 2030 model every year. Think of it as a living dashboard for your financial future.